to learn about volume indicators. You now we have many indicators, and in when I'm trading, I have six indicators. That is my algorithm. I have the entry indicator. I have the first confirmation indicator. I have the second confirmation, which is the baseline. I have the volume indicator. I have the ATR, average true range indicator, and then the exit indicator. The exit indicator is not useful about to trade, but when when I'm, I'm I want to close the trade, then I watch the exit indicator to tell whether I should trade, I should exit the trade, or I should continue trading. And for today's lesson, we are going to learn about the volume indicators. Last week I spoke about a volume indicator that is word utter indicator, and today I'm going to we are going to go deep into what is a indicator volume indicators in finance and trading provide one insight into the amount of trading activity or volume of a particular asset or financial instrument over a specific period I will say it again with our volume indicators they help to what to tell us about the insight into the amount of a trading activity the volume of a particular asset you see it tells us what is happening concerning something that we want to trade in the volume of that thing it gives us an insight to so they help traders and analysts to understand the market sentiment what is happening in the market is the volume high are people are, are people trading a certain kind of trade are they more interested in gold against the US dollar for example and so on this is how they trade the volume tells us whether they should trade or they shouldn't trade the third thing that volume indicators does is to confirm trend is this an upward trend or is a downward trend is the volume are plenty people trading is the volume enough for a downward trend or for an upward trend that is the third thing that volume indicator it confirms the trend these indicators are used across various financial markets including stocks forests cryptocurrencies and commodities i want to explain again what the data is a volume indicator measures activity it of the volume that is that tracks the number of shares it tracks the number of shares contracts or units of a financial instrument that are bought or sold in a given period. A high volume indicator indicates that there's an increased market interest and participation in that trade. When the volume is high, it means that there's an increase of the traders in the market for that exact trade. And secondly, I'm saying it confirms whether the, it confirms the trend, whether it's an upward trend or it's a downward trend. You understand where the strength where maybe the other indicator tells you that you should go you should go high this you should you should you should the volume the, you should buy you do understand but the volume indicator will tell you whether even even though the volume the, the whether the, the people many people are buying whether they, they, they are paying, putting plenty pips or plenty cash into that into that trade you see the volume will tell you so if you, an indicator will tell you that it's an upward trend or it's a downward trend. When the indicator tells you it's an upward trend, but the volume indicator tells you that no, even though it's an upward trend, according to that indicator, the volume is low. So it confirms strength. Do you understand? I agree with the trend. It confirms the strength of a trend. For example, in an upward trend, it increases the volume and can validate the bullish movement. Suggesting more significant market support. In a decreasing volume trend, a trend might signal potential weakness or reversal. I don't do reversal trade and so on. I don't do reversal trade and so on. But that is just to explain. So for you people who are doing reversals and so on, it identifies reversals and breakouts. And sudden spikes in volume can indicate a potential reversal or breakouts. For instance, a surge in volume, and uh, listen very carefully. For instance, a surge in volume alongside a price breakout, breakout may suggest a strong momentum shift. 
the volume goes high or goes low, it can determine the momentum sheet where people move into. The third thing the volume indicator does is to analyze market sentiment. The volume indicator can reflect market sentiment. When it is a higher volume during price decline or rallies, it might suggest increase in selling or buying. You see, higher volumes during a price decline or rallies might suggest increase in selling or buying pressure, or buying pressure, which indicates a sentiment of the market participants. What are the people doing in the market? The people who are trading. How is that? How is that? How is that? What is happening? The volume indicator can analyze the market sentiments, the feelings, and the ways people are trading. It tells what the people are doing. That is what it does. So that is about the volume indicator. I say again, the volume indicator first, what does it do? The volume indicator first, what? It gives insight into the amount of trading activity. It gives us insight. For a trader, volume is so important. And like I said, me, I use six indicators to trade. The entry, the entry indicator, the first confirmation indicator, the second confirmation indicator, which is what? The baseline, the ATR, average true range, the volume, and then what? The exit indicator. The second thing that volume indicator does is what? It helps traders to analyze and to understand the market. It confirms the trend, whether the trend is an upward trend or low trend. And I tell you that you have to use a volume indicator. It's very, very important to use volume indicator. When I started trading, sometimes I use volume indicator. I don't see the need. I don't see the reason. When the other volumes are telling me, when the other indicators are telling me it's an upward trend, I don't see the need for a volume indicator. But I've come through experience, I've come to realize that I should always also to look at the volume indicator. And I should go by the volume indicator and the other indicators. And when I use these indicators, if all the indicators maybe say that it's an upward trend, but a single of the six indicators say no, it's, an, it's a downward trend, I will not trade that day. It is not five over one. When a volume indicator or an or the volume indicator, a baseline, an ATR, whatever, that's all the indicators should agree because before I trade. When none disagrees, I don't trade. So this is about the volume indicator. We'll learn more about we'll go now about the other indicators. I spoke last week about the one attack indicator. This is a volume indicator. I'll go to the normalized indicator and we'll learn more about the normalized volume indicator. May God bless you. Please share this video. And I want to tell you again, please, trading is said that you need patience. You don't trade to become a millionaire in a day. And trading is not a gambling. Trading is a systematic something that you need more patience. You shouldn't be so selfish. You should be somebody who is patient. And you should trade using the daily. You don't shouldn't use the five minutes time frame. The daily is the best. May God bless you. I'm not an evil Christianite. Go into the other videos and please systematically, poco a poco, little by little, patiently, watch all the other videos and I go, know God will bless you. I have another channel that is not about Forex. I have other channels. I'm a pastor. I have a, a channel that I answer Bible questions. It is called Answering Your Bible Questions. I'll put it down there. Please go and subscribe to that channel. If you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian, you can go and watch that video. And every question that you have, ask the question in the comment section, and I'll try and answer that. I'll try and answer. And I have a, another channel called Christolite TV. And I analyze or I speak about what happens in the Christian world. From any country, what is happening, churches, what is happening. And that's it. And I know God will bless you. Go and subscribe to all the channels. I have our six channels. But for now, let me just make name these three. May God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. And don't forget to like this channel. May God bless you. Bye-bye.